Hello and welcome to a new episode of the Ableton Life Insider Tips. And this time I want to show you the four different launch modes for clips and the session view. To access that, we have to be in the session view, have a clip there. And then we click on the little L symbol here to get the launch box. And then here we can see the launch modes. And by default, trigger is always set which we can change in the preferences and the record won't launch and here default launch mode we can choose one of the other ones as well trigger makes sense most of the time though um, so trigger triggers what you're familiar with already so like pressing a pad or the mouse will start the clip and um, if you let go or you know it doesn't change anything right now the next one is gate either pat down or mouse down starts the clip and the up motion so when you let the mouse go or the pad or key it will stop the clip again and i'm letting go okay next up is toggle and with toggle it means that the control changes so it switches between start and stop so when i press it press the pad on my push now it starts playing the clip and now I push it again and it stops and the last one we've got is repeat and that really depends on the quantization settings so either the global quantization settings as would be the case now because here the clip quantization is set to global and global set to none which is not that effective to show what repeat does so we're going to change the clip setting here and just go to eighth notes maybe so as you can see depending on the quantization setting of the clip the first part of that quantization setting will be repeated in our case it was the first eighth note and when you let go the clip is just played well of course this can be really useful in a live set for example it can be great for like certain clips to have a gate in because you just keep it pressed and then you let the pad go and you know the sound stops immediately or it can be useful to have like toggle on where you just start to clip and then you just press it again and stop and repeating of course can be really fun to kind of have like glitchy things happening as well well i hope you found this useful and i'll see you next time bye if you're new to ableton live or push then check out my online video courses. More information can be found on my website sonicbloom.net